All right, so now I'm going to show you guys how to install a plugin in your WordPress framework. Uh, now, the great thing about plugins is also the worst thing about plugins is that there's so many of them, and there's so much different types of functionalities that you can do, and different types of extensibilities that you can include with different plugins, that it actually gets hard to filter through all of them. Some of them are old, some of them don't work as well as they could, and some are just broken. Uh, and then, of course, there's plugins that are really great and outperform the rest by a long shot. But if you're just getting started with this, it's really hard to um, go through and filter out these on your own. So what I've done is I've created a page on my site called How to Start a Blog. And in this um, guide that I've written, I basically include a continually updated list of its base, what I consider essential WordPress plugins. I use these plugins on every single website setup that I have, and I have a bunch of them. It's one of those things that anytime I set up a site, these are my base plugins. I've gone through a bunch of different ones, and these are kind of the best of the best of the best, uh, in my opinion. And so what I'm going to do is basically show you how to install one of these plugins through the WordPress interface. And so the first one we're going to start off with is the Yoast WordPress SEO plugin. Now this is uh, far and away what I found the best SEO plugin out there. There's a lot of SEO plugins out there, but this one is um, it's by a WordPress developer named Juice Devok. He's awesome. This is just hands down the best SEO plugin I've seen. I do a lot of SEO work for myself, also for clients. I've built sites anywhere from 5,000 to 100,000 plus hits a month, and I always come back to this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump back into the dashboard, and we're going to go to Plugins and Add New. Here we're going to look for a WordPress SEO Yoast. and it's the second one so you're gonna look for WordPress SEO by Yoast you're also gonna see Juice Devok over here uh, it's not you gotta be careful because it's not always the first one it's not always um, you know the first two uh, but it's the WordPress SEO by Yoast so it might show up in different places for you but that's the plugin you're looking for so what we want to do here is click install now you're gonna get a pop-up saying are you sure you want to do this and you're gonna click OK give it a half a second and uh, it's successfully been installed. So you're going to click Activate. That's the last step. And boom, you're ready to go. You can tell it's installed because you got an SEO button right over here. And we can talk about how to do that later, but I'm going to just do one more example to give you guys an idea of exactly how this works. So the other plugin that I recommend right off the bat is the Dig Dig Social plugin. A lot of people want to make it really easy for people to share their content via Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, StumbleUpon, Google+, all that stuff. And there's individual plugins for each of those. But what DigDig Dig does is it makes it all really simple and all really clean and puts them all in one plugin. So what we're going to do is click the same thing we did before. Click on Add New. Search for Dig Dig. And it's the first one that came up. So we're going to click Install Now. OK. It's going to install it. We're going to click Activate. And you're going to see Dig Dig. Uh, we now have a new Dig Dig tab um, here on the bottom left. Now you've got to be careful. Uh, some, some plugins show up differently than others. Not all of them will have their own tab here on the left-hand side. Some will be in Settings. Some will have one in Tools. And some will show up in other places as well. So you won't find every single plugin in the same spot. Uh, but each of them have their own different ways of displaying throughout your WordPress interface, so some you might have to hunt for a little bit more, but the SEO one and the Dig Dig one show up pretty clear here on the left-hand side. So that's how you install a plugin on the WordPress framework. Now, if you guys want to continue with this, uh, you want to check out this How to Start a Blog Guide and check out this list of essential plugins. Like I said, I build every single one of my sites with this base set of plugins. I've gone through a ton of it. I spent the last five years, basically, installing and uninstalling different plugins, figuring out which ones work the best, and these are what I've settled on. Uh, I'm always checking out new stuff too, always trying out new different things on some test sites and some mini sites that I've got up and around the internet. And so this is being continually updated, and I've always got the best stuff here. So check out this guide, and uh, you can it'll give you a link directly to the site where you can go ahead and download those plugins and then upload them to your server or just install them through your WordPress interface like I just showed you. So that's how you go about installing a plugin in WordPress, and I'll see you guys on the next video.